Virgo, this is your reading for 2023 year ahead. So we are doing two cords, two cards per quarter. So from January through March, we've got the Page of Wands and the Six of Wands. And this is about recognition. This is about, I feel like you're on top of your game. I feel like you might be feeling very good. You might be working out. You might be going after your New Year's resolution. And I feel like the birds are singing. So the first three months of the year, I feel as though they are good times for you. Take a deep breath in, they're telling me, and roll with the punches. Go with it. Change your mindset. Look at the positivity in everything from January through March because that is really going to set you good in those months, okay? Now, second quarter, we have, this is April through June. So we've got the Queen of Swords and we have the Six of Swords. So I feel like you're moving past something. Um, you know, the Swords is your inner stuff, your inner emotions and everything. Sorry, hold on. Um, and it's about moving forward and I feel like you're moving past something that's happened in the past. Maybe it was a breakup. Maybe it was a fight. Maybe it was some kind of argument or um, um, something that kind of rocked your world a little bit, just a little bit, not, not too drastic, not a lot of trauma, but I do feel like you're moving past it. To me, this feels like you're moving past a relationship. You're finally getting over something. That's kind of what this is feeling like for me. So that is from April through June. Now, we also have here in the third quarter, we have the Eight of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So again, a lot of Swords card in the middle of the month, in the middle of the year. So you can see this might come back to haunt you. So whatever you were getting over, maybe they're not over it and they're coming back at you, okay? With this, this is rockiness and you can see this like... <laughs> You're burning up, you're tied, and you're blinded. And here, you know, you're forging forward. So I do feel like from uh, J July through September, things could be a little bit rocky. There might be some fighting going on. There might be some things that you weren't expected just coming up. So just kind of, you know, use the time before July to kind of just get your bearings and get prepared for anything that comes your way so that you can kind of, like kick it out of there. Okay. Now the end of the year, we have the ace of pentacles and we have the devil card. I had to clarify that devil card because that's my narcissist card with the three of cups. So these cards right here from, um, from July through September might mean that there's a narcissist lurking around you, might be getting into a new relationship, not realizing that this could be a narcissistic person because that is my devil. So there might be a new beginning, but just be careful with who you have your new beginnings with because this is telling me it might be in your friend group or there's a threesome, they might be cheating on you. So just at the end of the year, just be aware.